Well, I try to read very widely, uh, including people I disagree with strongly, but I think if there's any group of people who've made a tremendous difference in my thinking, it would be some of the leading Jewish thinkers. A friend of mine introduced me to Daniel Elazar, and he was the man who reintroduced the notion of covenant and its background to the U.S. Constitution. And then following up from Elazar, people like Michael Walzer at Princeton or Eric Nelson at Harvard, who wrote a brilliant book on the Hebrew Republic in the 17th century. And then, of course, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs. And I've read everything that uh, Rabbi Sachs has read. But that whole Jewish understanding. So there are too many Christians who have unhitched their faith from the Old Testament. And of course, it's in the Torah that we have many of the deepest ideas of our Western society. Humans made in the image of God, or a high view of truth as the reality of reality, or the importance of words. A word created the world. Words can destroy the world. And you think, say, the social media or the former president's tweets. We need a reformation of words. Now, all of that including the notion of covenant and its underlying of constitution. I owe that to the Jewish understanding. So that's probably the thing I've explored more than any other in the last eight years.